Hello guys, my name is Doug and you are watching another episode from the custom series. In the previous episode we are painting on a car and if you want to see it, click over here. Even before the beginning of this video I got the little competition for you. You need to write down to the comments below what do you want to see in the next episode from the custom series. The comment with the most likes is gonna win and I promise that I'm gonna do that thing in the next video. But please, it needs to be something real, okay? All right, let's get started with today's video. As you already know, today we're gonna make custom graffiti sneakers. I've already done a video like this and it was pretty successful, link over here. In that video, I was painting on Nike Air Force One, but as you know, it's summertime, at least over here in Europe and USA. So I wrote a message to our local graffiti shop with a demand for a Summer sneakers. Sneakers like NMD, etc. Most of them, they are made of... I'm gonna show it to you a little bit later. I need to say thank you to the rooftop shop. This is not a paid ad. I just asked them for free sneakers and they let me choose whatever I want. So I decided to choose these sneakers. These are brand new Nike Air Max Zero Essential. As you can see this is a letter and the letter is perfect for painting but this surface over here is not good at all. These sneakers got at least some leather parts but most of the other ones they are made just from this thing over here. Before the actual painting I want to do some changes over here in the studio. This table behind me this is my painting spot but I don't like it that much. As you know I already got the speed art setup over here but this place is not perfect, especially because of the light, so I will try to move the table and that it's supposed to be good. Right now it's time to show you what we're gonna need. First of all, you need to buy acetone, because the step number one is gonna be removal of the clear coat from the shoes. For this step you're also gonna need gloves, because acetone is not so good for a skin and also you're gonna need some kind of respirator. Right now it's time to talk about the painting part. Well, it all depends on you, but I'm gonna use Molotov acrylic markers. Most of the time when you do stuff like this you need to remove laces, but when I'm looking at these shoots, it's not necessary. So let's begin with the part number one. I just realized that it's not a good idea to do it with a paper but you should do it with some old t-shirt or something like that I got just an old glow so Step number one is done. To be honest, I don't see any difference. The shoes are more mate right now and that's supposed to be good. I highly suggest to wait at least for a few minutes to get rid of the acetone smell and then you can start with the painting. I was thinking about the design for these sneakers and most of the time you want to see some proper graffiti on these custom things. So today I will try to do something like that.
if you want to get nice smooth colors you're gonna need more than just one layer of color. Most of the time two layers of color are okay but it all depends on the on the color that you use, on the type of the color so maybe sometimes you will need four layers. I've been already doing these sneakers for about five or six hours so right now it is time to go home and to be continued tomorrow. Finally, after another two hours, the sneakers are almost done. This is a water-based clear coat. I recommend to use traditional spray paints, traditional clear coat, because I'm 100% sure that they protect everything against water. I'm not that sure about this one, but it should be okay. So, the two layers of clear coat are applied and it's time to show you the sneakers. If you're gonna like it, please support this video with a thumb up. It means a lot to me. And also, don't forget to let me know in the comments below what's gonna be the next custom video. Maybe you're gonna win, and maybe not. This is it. If you like the sneakers, thumbs up, thanks for watching, and see you next time.